How did you go from PG County to being signed to LVRN? You have some crazy label mates over there. Love Renaissance for those that may not know what oh, the, that that uh, per shout out to the not Laverne. Cut it out. <laughs> That's <Laverne>. crazy. <laughs> you like, oh yeah, she's not a Laverne. How yeah, what yeah. was that trajectory like? It is actually such a crazy story to tell right now because it's just a testament to how growth is nonlinear. Mm. Because I remember I first moved out here in 2018. I mean, it was just an opportunity to come out here. And I was like, I'm going to go. I had no plan of action, um, had some unforeseen circumstances, and had to go right back home, right? And I was mad, and I was like, I'm going to be back in L.A. in six months. You know, blah, 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 blah. I, had to, I quit my job. I went back to the job. Like, where it was, was just the, where like, was the job? Uh, what was I working? I was working at Zara. I was I working at Zara. I always want to know what the job I actually are. worked at Zara, and I worked... No, I was working at Zara. Okay. I was working at Zara, and I remember walking out, and I was like, yeah, bye, y'all. <laughs> There's someone working at Zara right now with hey, that talent that needs to hear this. I was the cashier at Zara on F Street, and uh, if you know, you know. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I went back home, and I just got back to work, and I just, I don't know. It wasn't even like I had a plan of action when I came back. It's like, you know, unforeseen circumstances. You don't even... You don't even know what to do. You just do your best. Mm-hmm. And that's what I was doing. Like, you know, whatever felt right, I would just keep creating and just living life, dating, breaking up, writing songs. And then 2019, I wrote Mirage, right? And that's a year removed from being in LA. And then 2020, the pandemic happened. And I was just working on music. There's literally nothing else to do. And at this point, I'm getting, I'm getting unemployment checks. And flights is like $25. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was Damn just, me. I was just making music. I wasn't even thinking about like when I was gonna get back. I just was focusing on what I love, which is mm-hmm. always the way I'm able to get back center. Like, what do you love? None of that other stuff. What do you love? And um, I was in the house, and there was an Instagram live because they would do Instagram live talent shows. Right now, granted, I don't really. I'm, I get on live and sing and play on the piano all the time. But I'm not like one of the people who like try to go on people's lives and showcase myself. I've just, I've never been that person. Like I just, you know, if there's a mic, I'm going to sing, but I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I randomly, someone was just tweeting like, yo, somebody tagged me to get into this live on Twitter. And I just was like, oh, what is this? And I went on the live and I just requested to get in. I mean, who, I don't think they're going to pick me. I'm just... Pressing buttons, just sitting here, there's nothing to do, everything's closed. And they picked me, and I was sitting at the piano, and I played Rain, okay. and I played another original song on the piano, and they were like, shit, we got, we needed y'all, thanks for joining, <laughs> bye, right? And I'm just like, and I don't, I still don't really know who they are. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I mean, okay, like, I won the contest, I guess, right? And so then I get an email about, like, you know, just, getting to know me. They're asking me to like watch like a video and just answer questions. And I remember like saying to my team, like, yeah, you know, they sent me email and they want me to answer these questions. And they're like, answer questions. And I'm like, I mean, I ain't got nothing else to do. It was like, so I, I watched it and I, you know, answered the questions and I didn't really hear back from them. Again, I don't really know, you know, who they are. I don't know who signed to them. And mm-hmm. I, I'm still not really a person who's like, wowed by stuff like that because it, it, and because it ain't me for those that don't know at the time who who was signed uh it was summer walker summer, summer walker Black. now they have some heavy hitters yeah. let me be clear yeah. like who else is on and, uh, I, and i had no idea it's like summer walker Westside Westside black oh yeah black Westside Westside Boogie. Boogie. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. who else was there at the time uh brs cash oh yeah 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 uh-huh yep, yeah yep. um and they're super awesome but um yeah, so I didn't hear back from them, and I just kept going. I went back to making music and figuring out what to do during the pandemic. And then I was like, let me just go to L.A. I ain't got nothing else to do. Went out there, and I was just more productive, and I was just creating more. And then I was like, damn, I don't really think I have a reason to go back to Maryland. And then, you know, my manager, he's just playing my songs for people, you know, in the studio, doing what managers do. Hey, yo, I got a hot artist. <laughs> and so I, he ended up playing Mirage for a member of LVRN. And so I came to L.A. with August 2020. And by like May 2021, I was meeting Justice, who's the head of uh, A&R. And 
I didn't, again, I still don't know who, who he is. And my manager <laughs> love him so much. He loves to give me like just enough context for me to have questions. It doesn't work. But he was like, yeah, just get dressed. You know, I'm out to introduce you to somebody. I'm like, oh, all right. But I'm glad he did that because it just didn't give me an opportunity to overthink or underthink. Mm -hmm. So went regular, met Justice. We just sitting, talking like, yeah, you know. Blah, 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 blah. And then after the thing, I'm like, oh, nice meeting you. See ya. And my manager's like, yeah, I think we should, uh, I think we should go celebrate. I'm like, mm -hmm. why? Question mark, question mark. <laughs> I don't understand. He's like, I think they're going to give you an offer. And I'm like, I just, I just, what did I miss? Like, I, I, did I do? Did, That's fine. Did you guys have a, like, I just, I just felt so oblivious because I just be in my bubble and just kind of like talking and existing mm -hmm. and. You know, I see y'all. Y'all don't flowing. see what I see. And y'all see me. I don't see what y'all see. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It was just, it was, I was bewildered. And it was a, it was a beautiful experience. And by October, I was a signed artist. I feel like I remember that post about like you signing. Cause I, I think I follow money. I did follow DM yeah. money and I saw his post. I'm like, oh, yeah. it, that's crazy. It was crazy. And it's, and you know, I remember like when I graduated high school and I got in a full scholarship to college for classical music. And I remember telling sure. my parents, like, I don't want to go to college. I just want to vibe. Of course, that doesn't register to a parent oh, when yeah. you graduate in high school and you got a full scholarship, right? And I remember I was in college and I was like really like depressed and I had gotten sick and I ended up leaving. I tried to stay for like for two semesters for two years. And then I remember my parents were so pissed and I was like, and I did not know what my next move was. I just knew that I wasn't happy here and I'm happy doing music. Mm -hmm. The music I want, I have to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I really, <laughs> I really had no idea. Like I was just gonna keep making songs and just keep grabbing whatever I could reach and just make whatever I could with it. And I mean, I would, I mean, when I think about it, fast forward, all these years later, like, of course I'm here, but I had no idea in the moment. And I think just continuing to like get up and pivot and just be willing to learn and just be and remember to like put what you love first, mm -hmm. not what you think is popular, what you think will please your parents or your friends or what's cool to your friends. Cause your friends aren't necessarily your audience. Mm -hmm. You know, they're your friends. Um, I don't know. It just, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm still learning and hearing myself say the story just reminded me to just keep, keep pivoting and keep getting up and just keep pushing forward, even though you don't know what the next day looks like. I'm